All right, now that we have our uh, development, our, our, our database built, I'm getting a little ahead of myself here, we got our database built and um, we can actually run the development server and take a look at our website and see what it looks like right now. So let's go ahead and do that. Open up your terminal. There we go, I'm gonna clear my screen. And we're gonna run Python 3. Um, Manage.py run server and there's our manage.py again running all our commands for us so we run server and this is going to run our server now it's going to give us a um god i'm drawing a blank an ip address where our project is going to be found in our browser once this thing runs i don't know why it's taking so long so long forms the checks and there's our server sorry about that That's, i don't know why my computer's being so slow today anyway um let's go ahead and open up our browser and we'll paste in our address here and if you didn't see where i got that because i did that pretty quickly um on our terminal here it kicks back an ip address and and URL with an IP address, I should say, and just copy that and put that in your browser and go up here and hit return. And you should see the cool little um, welcome to Django screen once this loads. And damn. there it comes. And before the next tutorial, I'm going to figure out why this is running so slow. I do apologize, but I'm kind of pressed for time to try to get this done as quick as possible. So I don't want to go back and redo it. So here we go. We got it worked. Congratulations, your Django Power Page worked. Of course, you haven't actually done any work yet. Next is start app by building manage.py, start app, app label, and then you're seeing this message because debug is true. So awesome. Cool. We got our... our um, development server running we're able to um, get the screen up we have no errors awesome if you got this far and you have no errors you're moving along really well um, next thing we're going to do is actually take a look at the settings that py file and i'll explain uh, everything in there for you so you better understand what's going on in the back end so in the next tutorial we'll take a look at that i'll see you then